يقول راجي الخالق هو الأمين وافقي حمدا لمن هداني لسنة العدنان محمد المختار وسيد الأطهار وسيد الأطهار السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Now as you can see here there's a rope there and that rope is very high it's got about four knots or five knots no chance you can climb there and you can because it's in the dip and as you can see there's another one there it's a rope there you can see here there's that rope there tied all the way down and there's another rope there tied all the way down this is the work of a sorcerer a magician came and tied that rope i've been informed by a brother a few months back he says there's a bangladeshi magician who comes and ties things in this graveyard alhamdulillah wahda wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah amma ba'd muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam came and warned us about so many things and it's very very important for us to take these and these warnings serious the warnings of hellfire the warnings of how to live your life going in the toilet coming out from the toilet making your duas making adhkars the reason me saying this is today i'm here in the grave and in this grave i come very very frequently very frequent in this grave it's a grave where there is a lot of magic and people are destroying each other But today my main focus is about the jinn the entity who lives in this grave. This entity is very very dangerous when he possesses. And there are ways and there are reasons why they possess. Now what are the reasons behind this jinn possessing a human being? When the individual doesn't read adhkar or doesn't seek protection from Allah Rabbul Izza and he doesn't do his salahs and he comes to a place like this he doesn't even say u'idhu bikalimati llahi tamat min sharri ma khalaq oh allah protect me from the evil that you've created he doesn't say he comes here maybe he comes here to follow a burial and then he's fearing that fear leads to the jinns that who lives in the grave in these graves to possess him and then when they possess him they give him symptoms But the second reason is coming here emotional screaming frightened eh? there's no barrier there's no protection for you what will happen is this jinn mal'oon will pounce and will cause problem to your life so advice is whoever goes into the grave he should seek refuge from Allah and ask Allah to protect him and leave the emotion part and fear part aside and you will see the outcome of it but if you come to the graves and you fear you will be in trouble by Allah Rabbul Izza because i have met a lot of people and recently somebody gave me a call that they went to a burial after coming out from the burial the brother starts mumbling words he's going crazy and I, before then There was another lad who went to the grave and after coming back from the grave he started fearing these are the symptoms and the sign that the person goes there and get possessed by the jinns in the grave we ask Allah to protect us from the jinns now the next reason is coming in the night whether it's UK or abroad coming in the night in the grave without proper protection by Allah you will be in trouble so what's the way forward and what's the symptoms if you have these symptoms know that you've been hit by the jinns in the grave spots all over your body fear too much want to seclude yourself want to stay in uh, fields tombs graveyards on your own without nobody there dreaming of digging the grave or being in the grave or dreaming of him being chased or dreaming of him seeing its crazy creatures this is one of the signs where the individual has been hit by the jinns in the grave also the magic in the grave they have similarity with this 
We ask Allah to protect us from the jinns of the graves. The jinns in the graves are not good jinns. So be wary. They have symptoms. Like I say, the symptoms is fear too much. And spots all over the body. Sitting in isolated places. You cannot pray. You cannot do anything. Loving to go in fields, tombs, graveyards. And sitting on your own without nobody. You just want to be on your own. And dreaming of dead people, dreaming of graveyard, these are the symptoms where the jinn from the grave processes the individual. But also, these jinns come through magic. May Allah protect us and make it easy for all of us and removes all the problems we're facing. وآخر دعوانا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين